Hi, welcome to Singapore Office Supplies instructional video series. I'm Ronald and I'd like to share with you about setting up a glider with the Futaba 16SZ, 16IZ and 18SZ. This channel has received many comments and encouragements. I'd like to thank you for your kind words and we're here today to answer your questions. In this video, we're going to reply to our friend Amit who has this question. How to register sensors to the receiver? So in this session, we're going to show you how to register the sensors onto the system. We think that this video will help many who are trying to connect sensors onto the system. First of all, we need a few things. One, we need a Y cable. We need external battery. Right? And we need the sensors that you wish to register. Today we have uh, prepared five sensors and there are actually many more sensors from Futaba that you can consider registering and using it on your gliders or on your models. So the first up, we want to show you how to connect up to register. So first of all, the Y cable on the one end of the leads, we connect to the back of the 16 IZ. Right, so the signal cable is facing the top. We connect them in. Okay, once the connected, leaves us the two ends. One is to be connecting the battery and the other one to the sensor. So we connect the battery and the first sensor that we're going to be connecting is the SBS 01TE is a temperature sensor so we connect the temperature sensor onto the other lead of the Y cable okay. Next, we get into the linkage manual, under sensor, page 3 of 3, we click register. Okay, registering succeeded. You will see it on the sensor type, page 1. Right, this number ID here show is the ID on the sensor okay so this is done we will do the same for the rest okay i'm removing the temperature sensor next sensor that we have here today is the sbs 01 ro it is a optical rpm sensor you can use optical or magnetic to register the RPM using the sensor. So we similarly, battery connected, we plug in the sensor. And we hit register. Registering succeeded. We can check that. Okay, 129. So it shows here. Next is the SBS 01C. This is a current and voltage sensor two in one. All right, so we join the wires on the positive line and this goes to the positive and negative. The sensor will display the current goes going through the system and also the voltage. So this is the similar method of registering it. Succeeded. You will see it here. Okay, next sensor is the SBS 
A. This is one of my favorite sensor. It is an altitude sensor. It displays the altitude and it also works as a varometer. So it's on slot 8. Okay, you just have to verify the numbers. It's correct. And last but not least, is this is another optical sensor popular among the helicopter pilots. And this is the SBS-01RM. Okay, so this is a magnetic RPM sensor. Shows here. Let's verify the numbers. Correct. Okay, and we're done. So all the five sensors are now registered to the system. Now we will plug them in to the receiver and see how the readout shows. We will remove the Y cable from the 16IZ. Remove the batteries and put this aside. So to connect up all the sensors, I have prepared to demonstrate the SBAS hub, which is one to three sensor. And we also have a four-way box that we can connect. Okay, so this is basically to split the SBAS 2 signal for all the sensors that we have on the table. All right. Now the SBAS hub comes in different lengths. Alright, so uh, depending on your model, you can choose all the different lengths for the SBAS hub. So, uh, the sensors are taken from SBAS 2 slot. So, let's plug this in. Okay, and then we plug in the sensors regardless of the position or location according to the convenience of where the sensors are located on your model. You can position them. So I'm just going to just plug them in uh, here. Right. Okay. Next, I will energize with the battery. And when I get into the telemetry page, it will show all the sensors. All right. So I'm starting with the sensor of the temperature. All right. It is 27 degrees. If I were to hold it in my hand here, okay, it's gonna go up. Can you see that? All right. It's going to go up, go up. 33, 34. Okay, so this temperature sensor could be on the battery, could be on the speed controller, it could also be on the outer case of the in-runner motor. Okay, as I release it, you will see the voltage will start to drop. Next is the RPM sensor, which is this one here. All right, so this one, it's actually registering the light frequency that we have in this room. If I were to cover it up, it will drop to zero. Okay, so if I were to just simulate using a pen, to shake over the sensor, all right, it will change the RPM. Current, of course, uh, we have not connected any circuit to the sensor, thus you will see no reading here. Okay, 
this rotation, RPM sensor rotation. So this is the one that I mentioned about for the pilots, you know, where they mount the sensor over the clutch bell or the main gear and then they have the magnet going through the magnetic RPM sensor. Okay. And last but not least is the altitude. So altitude is here. Alright, so if I were to bring this whole setup upwards, okay, you will see the gain in height accordingly. And it's also a variometer. Alright, so this is how the sensors are working as we connect up. And you see all the lights on the sensor should actually show green. Okay, green means that it is connected and giving the information to the system. Last but not least, I will show you as well how it shows up on the main page. If I were to tap this button here, it goes into telemetry. All right. Then what we do is we can select what we want to show. Okay. First, we could show the battery, receiver battery. Next, we could say, okay, I would like to see what is my height, temperature, RPM sensor, next page, another RPM sensor, okay, and so on and so forth. So we can have multiple sensors displaying the information on the main page of the 16iZ. Okay, so this is how the telemetry system works. Now, threshold limits can be set up on every of these sensors. So for example, if temperature, you would like to set maximum of a certain temperature, maybe 60 degrees or 50 degrees, anything higher than that, it will beep or it will read out. Or altitude, if you do not want to exceed a certain height, you can also set the limit on the telemetry manual. Well, we hope this session was helpful to you. Please like and share our videos if you enjoyed this session. For more upcoming helpful videos, do subscribe to our channel. Keep your comments coming and thank you for watching.